and I've just seen my microphone flash in there so I've just spent a minute talking to myself um, let me know if you can hear me now so yeah so uh, Ismail yo yo um, what do you like about collecting the Bowen mini bus uh, thanks Mark um, hopefully that's back now let me know um, yeah with the mini bus I mean I started collecting one or two and I did have um, probably had about ten of them I'd say uh, maybe a bit more over over the time and um, I didn't really give them much love and much appreciation I kind of had them um, and while I was getting into the quarter scale pieces and um, while I was getting the quarter scale pieces I thought to myself um, you know what I don't really want these anymore they're there yeah, I'll just sell them and I sold them really cheap like really cheap I saw and I literally sold a couple of them for like fifteen dollars each twenty dollars and I got rid of them all um, I got them in to kind of put with my CGCs or to put on the shelf and they're really nice shelf filler um, so this time around I started getting some and seeing them and that was it sorry I had a, um, I had a cable one which came with a um, like a trade I did where I got like five statues for one and the cable bus was thrown in and I had that for a while and I took it I was going to sell it trying to sell it for ages no one wanted it for some reason um, I took out the box and we did like a little mini review of it and I put it on the shelf and I'm like actually that, that's a really really nice piece um, and then I started to buy a few kind of recently and got a few in so yeah that was kind of the story with that uh, Mark Randolph yep yo yo uh, can hear me now all good um, Super Soldier yep can hear you now so let's just go here and all right so good morning as well Emerald yo yo so what I've got actually this is a quick video I've got a couple of boxes in uh, I can see Mark's here Mark actually sent me a box and um, what I did was I actually um, I took them out of the box and kind of put them to one side and then um, I hadn't taken them out of the box box so then they were in this box while I was sorting stuff out so it's a different box to the one Mark gave me if that makes sense so this one is, is open but they've just been put back in there so they're out of the way uh, Mark actually delivered them in um, some cheesy Dorito box or something uh, Tin Man selling all my Bowen statues now damn damn if you're in UK hit me up bro um, so I've got these I've got this one as well uh, this one's a, a Silver Age CGC and then this one which is I'm going to go first, so these are all the Bowens. Um, what I'll try and do, let me see if I can swallow my... Like that. And hopefully you can see the bowing pieces as I get them out. So, so move them around. There you go. So, again, I, I haven't taken these out, out, uh, but I just put them in here so they're out of the way. So, first one is the Daredevil. This is the um, the one by the Coheric Brothers. Um, this is the minibus for the one with the arms. Um, there is another one without arms, and I had that one before, and uh, it was not very good, <laughs> I have to say. Um, when you kind of get the, start getting the ones with the arms in and you see the difference you know the, the actual ones where arms are, are actually a lot better so what we do is get them out and uh, I've always seen this one I'm not actually a huge huge fan of Daredevil I mean I uh, I don't mind the character but I'm not really like crazy about him and uh, the only reason I've got this one is I just thought it looked really dynamic. So what you've got here is you've got this side, you have the red version. So this is classic. And um, you have then the uh, yellow version. So that's the original colours um, on this side. So what they do is they use these bo boxes for um, for both of them. So it's uh, two versions, the classic red and the original yellow. Uh, six inches tall, strictly limited, sculpted by the Coherick brothers. Uh, actually... Actual sculptures may vary, sorry. And then um, this actually came out in, if I can find a year, uh, normally they have one here. So, 
This one came out in 2007. So this one's 13 years old. Got a little bit of reading there. So you got the first appearance and then you got like a, another kind of comic there as well. And uh, this one is an edition size of 3,250 and uh, number 2,133, if that makes any difference. So let's get them out. Wow. Okay, I actually thought these billy clubs were going to be packaged uh, separately. Um, wow, this is really nice. It's really dynamic. I thought that this was going to be kind of like a separate pieces, like a lump of metal, uh, kind of bent around into the shape. And then you've got these billy clubs in his hands. Um, this is really nice, this one. Um, very dynamic. Um, captures the character very well. Um, you've got the little base there with all the kind of gargles on there. If I can get that closer, hopefully I'll, I'll focus in. And uh, yeah, that's nice. It's really nice. Great body sculpt. Face looks great. Sometimes the face paints are not, not painted up that well. Um, let me pull this closer. If I can get that in there without being in the way. There you go. Okay, so. Alright, so yeah, that's that's that. Great colours on that. Kind of like a nice kind of, uh, not quite cherry, but like a, you know, like a great effect in the paint there. Yeah, it's a really nice one. Again, not really a huge fan of the character. It's just the Mark was selling these. Um, I really wanted just the Galactus and then he started adding other ones in there. So, um, yeah, pleasantly surprised actually. Very pleasantly surprised. Let's put them in the front. Uh, Move this box out of the way. Scalp or blades out of the way, whatever. And then put these boxes in there. There you go. Uh, next one, this one I've actually owned before. So this is the um, Sabre Tooth. And um, I actually had this one, and I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones I sold for about $15. And uh, I then, when I started collecting them, I thought, you know, I'm a big fan of Wolverine. I would like to kind of have the the kind of saber tooth to go with it so this one is sculpted by randy bowen um again you've got the great there you've got the uh, first appearance and you also got the um saber tooth comic there which is the one i drew geo and i remember with the die cut cover from the 90s um what was it called um F -Hunt, that's it so the, that's actually got some of the best saber tooth covers out of any um, I think it's number three, whereas with Wolverine is a really nice colour. So this one came out in uh, da, da, da. this one came out in two thousand. Wow, this is twenty years old. Sculpted by Randy Bowen and the Shiftlet Brothers, and this is an edition size of seven thousand, and this is six thousand two hundred thirty-one. So a lot of these were were made. Um, Let's get him out. Let's see who else has joined. There's a few people there. <laughs> uh, Emerald, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a screenshot and I'm gonna have a look. And I'm pretty sure F State said that to me. And um I'm sure he said it was one of the worst ones. I may have misread it. Um but it's pretty but I'm pretty sure. I'm like ninety five percent sure. Um Well the dead of a box looks sweet. They all look really cool. I mean all the boxes, this one's a big box as well. Uh, for these busts and uh, they will you know they'll package they'll, they'll go away on top of the cabinets really well um mark randolph nice piece one of their best alonzo looks great uh rich sorry rich rich morning good morning morning uh mr abrasaburn uh great bus they've got multiple x-men bus from bowen and they're really good yeah i mean they're, they're really really nice um i had the electra to match uh, <laughs> he looks lonely. Yeah, you should have chucked him in the chucked her in a box. Uh, and then uh, you got the saber tube as well. Again, this is one of the ones I sold, and um, I, there's a few that I want to get back. I mean, I want to get back the um, Mysterio as well. It actually, looks really nice. And again, I'm pretty sure I sold that for you guys. So uh, this is an old one, so you can tell by the polystyrene or the styrofoam. It's really brittle, and it's all just falling like crumbling apart here. Um, so. Get him out. Get him out of the way. Don't want to go this. Let's unwrap that. 
There you go. Sabre tooth. The sculpt is actually much better than I remember. Um, I remember being a bit like, Leh, you know, um, signed on the back, stiff at brothers. Um, very nice, you know, very nice colours. The only thing that's like glaringly obvious now is that now I've seen a lot of the others and um, Sabretooth is like kind of like a seven foot character isn't he I mean he's huge um, he is small this bust is small um, and his arms look a bit weird position but um, other than that I mean I do actually think he's a really nice piece I just think if you put him next to Daredevil and you look at the scales um, Daredevil is pretty much like I don't know, what's he like, six foot, 185, and then um, pounds. And then Sabretooth is meant to be like, you know, six, six to seven foot and a lot more uh, weight. So they're, they're kind of like the same kind of scale. Um, I know that Bowen did do where he put, um, he made them kind of the, even though they're a bigger character, he made them like a display the same scale, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, I do think it looks a little small, but... Again, for the price, I mean, overall, he's, he's a very, very nice piece. Um, so, yeah, we'll get out of the next one. Let me put away this box. I mean, I'm not going to use this box anymore until I have, if I sell, but uh, let me just get rid of it. Get that away. He's making a mess. Um, I think George is actually looking for the first table of appearance on um, CGC, so he's looking for the old... Um, Iron Fist 14, so he's looking for a copy of that. And maybe, hopefully, he'll get it. Um, next up, grab this one again. <laughs> and next up is a big one. So, this is one that this is the reason why I bought this batch off of Mark. So, this is Galactus, and uh, I've picked up a few of the kind of heralds. So, I've got the um, Airwalker, I've got the Surfer, I've got the Thranky Ray, and um, I want to have like a kind of galactic, I've got the Watcher, so I want to have like a, a kind of galactic um, uh, display kind of going on. So um, I've got a few people coming in now, so um, Mr. Bray, uh, agree, it looks tiny compared to the full size Bowen as well. My Wolverine is basically the same size. Um, well, the full size Bowens, I think, are 1.7, and I think if I remember correctly, these busts are meant to be at one eight. Um, but yeah, he does look small, but again, I mean, I think it does the job for, for what it kind of needs. Um, Alonzo, I might get the Galactus bus. I think it will go well with the Sideshow Silver Surfer PF coming. Well, the thing is, is when I started buying these busts, um, I got the Sideshow, um, Legendary Scale bus because, because Galactus can be huge. And I think the Legendary Scale bust is, is really, really, really nice. It's probably the best of the legendary scale bus by, by sideshow it's a really really impressive piece um i didn't really have much intention of getting this galactus and then you know mark caught me at a, a good moment and i thought oh, fuck it, i might as well just buy it so i got it in um i was never very impressed with, with pictures um so let's see what we think uh rome ross morning 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 uh let's get him out so the box again he just looks a bit dull um 11 inches tall, more than twice the size of the normal mini bust, 1 8th scale. Uh, well, actually, not really 1 8th for Galactus because uh, he'll be like some bigger than the house still. Um, this came out in 2001. Wow. And um, you've got the, the reading on the side. So you have the um, Fantastic Four 48 and you have Fantastic Four Trials of Galactus, which is a really nice cover actually. Uh, a little bit of uh, toilet reading. And then this is an edition size of 5,000. And this is number 2222. So 2,222. So, let's get up. It's heavy as well. It's really heavy. And I'll make sure this is up. Which I don't know if this one does. So, so this is going to go up and down, but let's get this out. So, it 
this is actually in person. This is in in person. This is actually much nicer than um, is in images. There's a few of them actually, which I've been really surprised with, like the Morbius. Um, I never ever liked in pictures, and I picked it up, and it's much better. This one is actually really impressive, and really heavy as well. Really heavy. So let's get him on there. So you can see the the size difference straight away. Move these boys out of the way. And uh, yeah, let's get him in front of the camera. So yeah, I'm really really digging this one. Um, this is much better than than I than I thought it would be. I've not seen this one in person, or if I had, I've I must have uh, kind of looked over it to see what else is around it. Because again, I've 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 been a bit um, not snobby, but there's been a, like a my moment where I kind of looked at the Boeing stuff and been a bit like, yeah, you know, okay, I'm, I'm only collecting this scale, quarter scale, and uh, with this one, yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised actually. Um, yeah, really, really nice piece actually. I, I, I highly recommend it if you are um, a Galactus fan. I mean, I do think the um, Sideshow one has its place, and I think this one has its place. This is more of a classic look, which again, this is what Randy Bowen does. Pulls, pulls them out of a comic book and they look exactly like they would in the panel. Um, the the sideshow one is a bit more modernised. Um, yeah, this is this is awesome. Really nice. Really, really nice. Um, what else we got? Mike Galactus. Uh, yep. So what we do next is... Uh, yeah, what happened with that? Put him there. Don't know if you can even get all these guys on there now. <laughs> no. Oh, careful of the Billy Club thing. Put him there, put him there, put him there. And, uh, all right, so next up, get one of these ready. Next up, so I've been doing a few uh, raffles and things like that, and actually won a, another comic. Um, so this one is a prize, so I'm gonna open it up. Make sure it's all okay. This is a Silver Age book. And uh, it's not as, it's not what I've been looking for. I mean, like with the Amazing Spider-Man number one, I am a big Spider-Man fan. So when I won that one, I was super, super excited, super pumped. I mean, obviously winning a comic, I am super excited, but this one's one I'm like, oh, wow, okay, I've got it, you know, that's cool. Um, that makes sense. So I'm trying to open this now without cutting my finger, because I've got a, a habit of doing that. So, Worst blade ever. And I'll tell you, didn't cut through. Okay. So, here is uh, carrier bags, <laughs> and we'll unwrap it. So, I'll waste any time. This is a comic from 1963, September, um, and this is the Avengers number one. So this comic book is the, so you can see that glare everywhere. Uh, this is the first appearance of the Avengers as a team. Um, it's got a Fantastic Four, Loki, and Team Brigade appearance in there. Um, so this... Yeah, this is really cool. This is a 1.5. The um, It's got the CGC label, which I don't actually really like these labels for um, comics, which are kind of key comics like this, which are the you know, Silver Age or even the Gold Age ones. I think it works for modern ones, but when it has um, like, a, like a first appearance or something like that, or signed by many people, and they, they then end up putting the information on the back, which I really don't like. 
Um, and yeah, so I'm not really a fan of that. I'm not going <laughs> to complain because of, again, um, how I got it. But so this one has, um, yeah, it's a 1.5, so it's a low grade. But again, I'm pretty happy because um, I didn't, you know, I paid um, some, a couple of raffle tickets and won it. So yeah, super happy with that. I will be displaying that with my comics. Uh, so I don't know, again, if you're going to get glare. Oops, I want to put it on the cover properly. No, there you go. So, there. There you go. So, um, Super Soldier, Wild Man of Bones. Bowen is indeed a great sculptor. I'd love to see Bowen come back. <clears throat> I'd love to see Bowen actually take on, uh, do some more um, of these busts, do some DC characters and do some other things. I'd love to see that. Um Rahul Kumar, thanks man. Cheers. Yeah, super happy with that. Um really happy with that. And cheers, Mark. So yeah, no, it's um again I got the phone call just how I want it and I was uh, really, really happy. Again, I've got the Amazing Spider-Man number one recently, uh, and also got like an Amazing Spider-Man number eight, all from the same same group. So um been quite lucky there. Um then again I did I have kind of put in quite a lot of uh, money to buy the tickets and as long as I had too loud my girlfriend's upset. But, um, so yeah, so I'm probably going to bulk the comics with the amount I've already spent. So yeah, that's that. Um, just wanted to do the quick video, and now I've got to go cook lunch. So thanks, people. Thanks for watching. Do the usual: like, comment, subscribe, share, and uh, you know, thanks for the support. Cheers. Peace out.